what a lovely day I've had today. Um, cut all my squares after 14 days not being able to get on, so I'm pretty chuffed. I just thought I'd do a what to do in November. Um, there's a few variants to it, people may have their own thing, but just gets us all thinking, uh, keeps me on my toes as well. So I'll, t I'll just start with, uh, I'm working off a list because it just makes sure that I get everything I want to say, say down. So cutting like I've cut today, first cut in a while, you see the fairy rings are still there a bit. I did put a feed on a couple of weeks ago, should have kicked in, maybe it's leached out, but um, so I may give it another week just to see if I can get another cut in and then put a feed on then. Um, but yeah, I'll be looking to. I'm still on a rotary, but ideally, I'd be like, I'd like to get onto a cylinder and try and get this and maintain it around 20 mil. That's that's the that's that's where I'm kind of aiming for at the moment. But we've had some really bad weather, as we all know. But good growth as well. So you know, you can't really moan. But um, fertilizer, and I kind of run through that a little bit. But yeah, the fertilizer I'll be putting on now. There's not much seed around, but may have a bit of iron in it. So and sort of four to six percent nitrogen um, sort of autumn winter feed suitable for immunity turf it's the kind of thing you're looking for make sure you get advice to make sure you get the kind of right product um, apply with a cy cy cyclone spreader um, ideally let it wash in but this time of year is, is, is enough dews around to sort of help that break down slowly um, we still could you still could be overseeding. Uh, my ends here have got the odd, it's not particularly bare, but a bit thin there. Just gonna zoom in a bit here. I've just made some holes in it if you can just about see them. So I can just I'll make a few more, put a bit of um, seed in. I won't put loam in, but you, I know some people do like to top the uh, holes back up with loam. It's you know we're in November, but it's 17 degrees, so I think it's still worth a bit of a shout. Having a you know if you wanna. It's only wasting a bit of seed if it doesn't come up. You can just get it up and get it through the winter um, at the one leaf stage, and it's going to push on. Um, fence. So hopefully this week we'll get this fence down. See some leaves under it. Um, could blow them leaves out with a blower, um, but this week we'll sort of do a trim under the fence anyway, because want to keep the height down otherwise in the spring you end up hacking it down and kind of goes yellowy white and looks you, you kind of have a strange border around your square so we do like to keep on top of that over the winter and I think it looks really really nice once it's been trimmed and the fence goes back up but I realize that's not possible for everyone especially the grassroots guys where time is limited um, this might be another limited time one but brushing off the dew in the morning um, pretty important one if you're there, if you can do it, um, helps keep prevent disease, um, keeps an upright leaf, which is good for when you go mowing it. Um, water runs off it a bit more again for the, the, the benefit of avoiding disease. There's a few other um, benefits. I could do a blog on it with your, all your help. So I'll, I'll put a uh, link into the uh, description on that. Um, aeration, aerations. You can see this is nice and thick now. A bit of red thread there. I'm sure everyone's got a bit of that at the moment. But yeah, it's nice and thick here. So I'm very lucky to have a tractor-mounted groundsman aerator. So I'll be spite. I'll be aerating this. I'll be, I'm hoping to sort of spike this two or three times over the winter. But this month, if I can get on once, I'll be happy. Depth, I'm not too too bothered. I'll go in about two, three inches. Um, every, if, say if you're going to do it three times over the winter, try and vary your depths a bit. They do say you can create rude breaks just spiking at that same length. So that's worth considering. So aeration's another one. Um, machinery servicing. We're sort of probably a bit late on that this year because we've got a bit more growth. You know, we're growing like we are in spring at the moment. We could be cutting twice a week. Um, but yeah, machine start-ups keep, keep, keep the, en the, warm, the engines warm. Um, you know, maybe your roller could go away if that's the only thing you're really not using. But that's just just to put in your mind, really, just to start thinking about, really. Um, I think that's about really it for this month. Um, just let me know if there's anything I have missed. And um, just a bit of a call here. Um, if you are watching this and you do enjoy the videos, can you consider subscribing? Because 
YouTube will give me lots of little extra features that I can use on these videos to help me improve them. And it's a real confidence boost for me also um, for you guys subscribing really. So thank you all. And uh, any comments, any suggestions, any questions, just chuck them in the uh, comments below. All right, thank you very much for watching.